Local religious leaders hope the Pope's visit can help usher in peace and unity among Christians, Muslims, and Jews. News 3's Danny Valle visited with some of those leaders to get their insight. Giving mass in the middle of the once war-torn streets of Mosul was a heartwarming moment for Imam Karim Abdullah of the Carbondale Muslim Center. In the middle of all the violence that exists there, there was a moment of prayer and meditation and reflection and gave people time to reflect upon the closeness that they have together as human beings. But what change can it bring? Sam Goldman from Congregation Beth Jacob says, only a cold peace. They'll walk by each other. They just won't do anything terribly negative. Uh, they will disagree, but they'll come to a table and talk about it. There's no physical wars because if you have a cold peace. To truly bring peace among all religions would be next to impossible, Goldman says, and there's thousands of years of history to remind us why. But you won't see much change because it's faith. It's too much of that, and you can't change that. But Pope Francis's visit is a start, says Father Bob Flannery from St. Francis Catholic Church. One of the big moments, he says, was the Pope leading a prayer in the city of Ur, the biblical birthplace of Abraham, or Ibrahim to the Muslim faith. Father Flannery believes Abraham's connection to Muslims, Jews, and Christians is key towards achieving reconciliation to bring the family back together. What family among us have not had rifts, but if people really work hard and try to put that aside and reconcile. Bringing the families together and not apart because there's been too much war, too much destruction in the area. So now it's time for peace and reconciliation. In Carbondale, Danny Valle, News 3, WSIL. Iraq designated March 6th as a national day of tolerance and coexistence. Pope John Paul II was the only other pontiff to attempt a trip to Iraq back in 2000. He ended up holding that visit virtually.